Sure, so you know, lusbatercept is now a standard of care for MDS patients with ring sideroblasts who have failed erythropoietin stimulating agents, although there has been recent press release of the frontline uh, commands trial where um, lusbatercept was re reported to be better than ESA, so maybe it will become our standard frontline therapy. Unfortunately, it really, at least in the ESA failure setting, only works in about 40% of patients, so we're really looking ways to further augment that. And so relatively simply, what we did is in patients that did not respond despite being on max doses of lusbatercept, we added um, erythropoietin stimulating agent, typically darbopoietin at 500 micrograms every three weeks. And what we were able to show is we were actually able to get 40% of patients to response that had actually failed both ESA um, and lusbatercept. I think the nice thing is the combination essentially has no side effects. I would say it's very close to placebo or, or, or water. And so from a safety, it's good. But in order, you know, again, we're able to get 40% more patients on response and these, some of these responses have been durable. And I think it's something to consider for patients that may not have clinical trial options or again, who have not responded to the spatter as their first therapy.